In this video, we're going to look at how to remove camshaft carrier. There are a number of things you need to do first. Disconnect the battery negative lead, jack up front of the car and support with axle stands, remove the drive belt, set the number one cylinder at the TDC timing position, remove the main timing belt, remove the HTDs from the spark plugs, remove the ignition coil unit, remove the EGR solenoid well, remove the wiring plug of a camshaft position sensor, black in color. The camshaft sensor is mounted onto the camshaft carrier next to the DIS module. Release the securing lug on the plug and disconnect it from the camshaft sensor. Similarly, remove the wiring plug of the oil pressure switch sensor. In this photo, the camshaft position sensor is shown in the upper right quarter of the photo with the wiring plug removed. The oil pressure sensor, green in color, is shown in the lower right quarter of this photo with wiring plug removed. Step 1. Remove the rear timing belt cover securing bolt, which is on the back side of the camshaft carrier, located next to the engine lifting eye shown in the upper left quarter in this photo. Step 2. Slacken and remove the 15 camshaft carrier securing bolts progressively from the center out in the diagonal sequence. Please note, the four bolts close to the spark plugs are shorter than the other 11 bolts. Step 3. Carefully lift and remove the camshaft carrier. This photo shows that uh, camshaft carrier has been removed. The camshaft carrier is positioned on two dowels on the cylinder head, as shown in this picture and the next picture. The spark plugs are still in the cylinder head to prevent dirt from getting into the cylinders. You can see all the 16 rockers after the camshaft carrier removed. This photo shows that the camshaft carrier has been removed with the secondary timing belt in place and the sprockets locked to the TDC timing position.